everybody, welcome back to the Road to a Glory episode, I want to say 25, I could be wrong with 25, but I think it's 25, let's go and have a look. Welcome back to episode 25, now, it's Christmas, and I'm not very well, Covid is a thing, a lot of people that I know have it, it's very annoying, so what I'll be doing, I'm trying to play some FIFA. And then hopefully over the, over the next day or two I'll find out whether I've got it or not. Because I feel like shite. Again. Um, yeah, it's been a bit mental. If we jump onto Viva, look. I've finally updated the thing from Rule Breakers to Winter Wild Cards. I will keep up with it as much as possible. But I actually haven't played FIFA in like two or three days. Which is a bit nuts because there's been a lot going on and I really needed to do it. But like I say, one, been busy. Two, I felt like shit. I got home from work yesterday, lads. I went to bed at six o'clock and I woke up at nine o'clock. As in, like, the next day. So, yeah. Lower playoff entry requirements. Players will require 1,250 foot jumps. Qualification points from division rivals to qualify for the playoffs. So that's 250 less. Or is that 700? That's 750 less. Easier finals qualification instead of needing 24 points from 9 games. You're now required 20 points from 10 games, so more games, less points. Fair enough. How many games? Is that 5 out of 5 needed? No, that's 4. 4 out of 10. Not 5 out of 5, 5 out of 10, or 4. So 4 games is 16 points. 6. That's 22. So you need at least four wins for qualification. Nice. More ranks. Both champions, playoffs and finals will have increased number of ranks. I want to go check that out to see what it is about. Um, I also had a comment of how to um, how to select my team based on the fact we've got Spinozola and Barella. And now a lot of you told me that my reaction to getting Barella wasn't good enough. I have since learned, as per usual... The Barella is actually insane. Three star, three star, high, high. Good pace, good shooting, good passing, great dribbling, good defending and physicals. It's actually really nice. So someone told me how I can set up, which is something along the lines of this. Uh, Barella there. Spinners over there. And you know what? I think I'll, I think I prefer that. Spinozola has better pace, better defending, better dribbling, better passing. Just not as good shooting or physicals. But his physicals are in the right areas anyway. Good stamp and then relatively well rounded. Uh, Deo Hernandez is, he, he hasn't got good enough jumping, but he's got decent stamp. So I think we're probably going to go with that. And then somehow look for a centre mid. I can even get any sort of. Who do I need? I need a cam. So actually, I don't even need Pogba or... Because if I'm not using Fekir, I can go like this now. Santa Club. And I can get a Premier League cam, which would be pretty decent because there's quite a lot to choose from. Premier League cam. Oh, there's a Mane. I mean, that Foden would be nice, but in fact, actually, I think that, that Foden would be a lot better, wouldn't it? Rule Breakers Foden. I mean, yes, and yes. Um, Bernardo Silva would also be ridiculous to get. But he was an SPC, no? Was he an SPC? I don't know. Let's go double check. You guys absolutely hated on me last time. I thought someone was an SPC and wasn't. Um, Bernardo Silva, where are you? Champions League SPC, he was, yeah. So if I go players, players... Positions come centre mid uh, from the Premier League. We can potentially go ahead and get someone like no one. <laughs> At least Pogba's down to one mil. Phil Foden's rule breaker is actually only 238k, so we can afford him. Play him at camp behind Dalglish, Joe Cole on the right, Pulisic on the left, Barella as my box to box, and Kante as my CDM. That's not the worst 
way to go really is it it's quite nice um but yeah i, I, I want to go check out what's come out because we might have some fun things to do um in fact the season ends this friday how long left have we we've got 20 days to do these thank fuck for that i was going to say i haven't done them we've got another 20 days to do these i'll get those done over christmas um, arrivals we're close to doing that not close to doing any of those not yet anyway oh we'll have an ultimate back in 20 more foot jumps games so first off let's go ahead and have a look at foot jumps so we have 1500 points okay cool uh, rivals i need to play today really actually yes i do need to play a lot of games today um do we get to see rewards? There we go. So, it, from now on, it's still 24 points. So maybe it's when the new season comes out. Oh, here we go. Um, what are these? I don't know. So, rank 1, or rank 7, shall I say. 104, 104. 50k, 100k back. Was it always that good? And 15k. Okay, cool. 45 points. So 45 points is one ga two games won, 18 games free. So lost. And you get a team of the week back. What? Okay, cool. So it's 20 matches. If I win, say... Let me have a look at this, because I don't know. I can't use my brain. I'm pretty sure my HD gamer... Um, A list of what people need. Um, with the new rewards, does he? Has he? God, he tweets out so much. Oh, and the Twitch game, Prime Game Impact here, so I'm going to go and do that in a second. We can open that. Here we go. The rewards have been updated. So for rank 10. So that's rank 10. Nine, eight, and seven. So that requires two wins. These all require at least six wins. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Sorry, I was I wasn't using my brain when I was talking earlier. This is what I mean. My brain's not. So what do I want to hit? I think beforehand rank six, which is this one, is what I tend to hit because that needs nine wins, and we used to get eight wins. So anywhere around this, we get. One of four for players, one of four for players, the rare, the 50k pack, the 100k pack, the premium team of the week pack, and a thousand qualification points, and 25k, I think that's around about what we used to hit, so you only need 9 wins out of 20, if you were to get 11 wins out of 20, so that's only 2 more wins, you get 3 player picks, instead of 2, you have a choice of up to 5 players in them. Okay, you get a Team of the Week pack, exactly the same. A 50k pack, exactly the same. You get an Ultimate pack. You get requalification for the next weekend. Oh, no, that, well, that's 14. No, ignore me. Yeah, no, no, I am right. So that is rank 5, that's only 11 wins. But on the here, it says 1,000 FIFA points. Uh, champs point, sorry. This says 1250. So maybe with rank 5 you do get requalification to the next weekend. And 30k, which is a little bit different to what he originally put, so maybe they've changed it since. Um, that's incredible, by the way. That is 11 wins, is heavily doable, and is that still 11 wins? So if we calculate this, that's 44 at 9, which is 53 points. Yeah. So can I get 10 wins? 10 wins is 40. At 10 points is 50. No. So it has to be 11 wins minimum. So maybe that's what we go for. 11 wins on a weekend. That gives you some incredible things. Wow. Wow, them rewards are tasty. For 11 out of 20 wins. A choice of 15 different foot champs players. A premium team in the week pack. A 50k pack. An ultimate pack. Requalification and 30k. That's solid. Now, looking at SBCs, what has been 
released. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to have... Um, we looked at Pandev. Mag... Who? Magloya. He's got 91... But he's a centre-back! Oh, shit! Holy shit, balls. 91 pace. Really nice passing. Good reactions and composure. Really nice agility. And great defensive stats. How much? 83 in the team of the week and an 85 for the team of the week. That's expensive. How much is it coming in at? I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. He's English. Quite easy to link. Um, But it's coming in at 100k. I don't necessarily think that's worth it for 100k. Just because of the that's because of the league. I mean, he's not the hottest to link, though, is he? Ah, that's reasonable for what he's a great god. We have our... Ooh, hello. Four star, four star, high, medium. That's really nice. How much is he coming in at? I sent our 158. That's actually quite cheap. For what is a very nice card. 84 team of the week, 86 team of the week. That's... But again, it's pretty expensive. Um, anything else? Roy Keane, sadly, no, 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 no. Winter, there we go, we need to do another winter wildcard challenge. There we go, nicely done. We get the wildcard. Is that Toto? Is it a Toto Freeman or is that Token? Wildcard Token Freeman. Okay, and a gold pack. It's not the worst thing in the world, is it? Here we go. That's what I like to see. Let's go. So that's nice. Um, is there anything else out? Oh, another one. Okay, let's get this one done. So they have been releasing them. We've got quite a few to do. Um, is there another one I've missed? That's the Freeman one. The new one is Al Rewali. So yeah, these are the two that have been released. Exactly 11 rares. Oh no. Max of four from the same club, minimum minimum three from the same country, and minimum six leagues. So we're going to have to go, like, silver rare. Argentina is always a good one. A little bit cheaper than that, so we'll go bronze rare. Um, Nordas cannot be very expensive, surely. And we'll do that. I don't know that's going to wind so many people up that have used a player like Gosens. Thank you for shit, mate. Bit of a time scale, let's get things done. How many how many tokens is that now then? So the Wilfred Tsar is still there. Ryan Bridge. Oh, the 75 player pick. Let's attack that. Is it repeatable? It is. And we have party bag. Oh, we get the party bag and there's a wild card token, so I think we have to do it surely. So wait, cancel, let's see what we get from it. Favourites do we fit? Yeah, we did, so get rid of these two. Um wild card token Torino. So we get him and the Winter Wild. So we get a wants to watch. Oh no. A rule breakers. Oh. A numbers up. I mean a numbers up isn't bad because they're guaranteed upgrades as well. Or a team with a group stage player. Volland in goal works. Nicely done. I have absolutely no qualms in doing that. That was nice and easy. Um, we get the winter party back and we get another token. Of which we're gonna have some nice players. There's some nice packs coming back from that. Um, and we have some player picks. What is this? So a 75 plus gold rare requires the three rare. Minimum gold. Okay, cool. Um, so we go gold rare. Okay, everybody, I have gone ahead and done, I think, six in total so far. I could potentially get more done, but it's just so time-consuming, and I want to get other stuff done today. Uh, plus, I'm not feeling the best, so let's go ahead and get this six done. <laughs> we'll take it, Edison. That was 100% worth it already now, then. And a David Silver. That's a board and a walkout already. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm more tempted to take Fabianski because I know Coates will come up in a pack. And I don't know why I've done that. I mean, it makes no sense, but I know Coates is going to be in a pack. Oh, it's gone from good to worse, hasn't it? Look at that. The range just declined. This is going to be a 79 rated. Oh, 
God, he's there's two walkouts. These are cracked. And I'm going to get, you know what? Two walkouts aboard. Technically two boards, because Kyotas would have been aboard. And then three just normal players. They are incredible packs to do. Best believe we're doing more of them. Gold pack, mixed players pack, and a winter party pack. I'm not expecting much from the winter party pack, I must admit. Come on. Nothing from that. So, I mean, it's a gold pack. You can't expect anything from a gold pack. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. I genuinely might go for a nap in a minute. I've been awake for like three hours and I might go for a nap. Again, very, very terrible. Uh, I also, I did listen to your comments on the last video. Um, I need to go and watch Nepenthes' video on how to make profit from League SBCs. Uh, and apparently that way I'll get taught how to definitely make profit. Oh, it's a one to Oh, it's a rule break. It's England. Oh, I've got Trent. I now own two. <laughs> two of the 89 rated Trents. And you know what? That is a cracking player to pick up. Because now it doesn't really matter if I get rid of one of them. Let's go ahead and preview a pack, shall we? Stinky. We now have 350k to spend on a uh, on a player. Um, let's compare the two then, shall we? Neither of them are in the club. So one of them is going into the squad. So I do this. Oh no. So his rule breakers has so much more pace. Three less defending, but better physicals, better dribbling. Not as good passing, but I don't think that's really gonna make much difference. That is actually incredible. Can I compare him to the walker? So Walker's got two better pace and better physical. Or is he high, me high, 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 medium? I think I prefer Walker still, you know. That's absolutely cracked though, isn't it? Um, so, question is, who do we put here? I think Foden's got shout. Um, let me go back onto uh, Footburn and see who we can get. So, for per position. I'm actually going to go centre forward striker as well because I think that's a very under centre forward's a very underrated uh, position. Um, who can we potentially get that would be incredible as a cam? I think I prefer an engine on him, but he's six foot two at cam. Um, let's. Foden, Phil Foden there, that's the left wing, I haven't got his, that one, that's a lot cheaper but it's only 4 star, 3 star, Fabinho is a 4 star, 4 star, 3 star weak foot does put me off a bit, Jillian Balance could do with a bit of work, his shooting's great, his passing's great in the right areas, and his stamina's great as well, so maybe I'll hunter on him as well, puts him onto an 89 cam, an engine 91 cam, but he's also, he's only 5'7". Why is, why is this dribbling been ruined? Why is this dribbling? Oh jeez. Yeah, I mean... Has I got better week for? No, they're exactly the same. So 88 Fodens on the cards. And then we get Mane. I can't spell. Who's 395 at the minute? Already got incredible dribbling. Shooting's great. Pace is great. I really enjoyed using this guy. I think I used him once in draft or something and he was very good. I could be absolutely waffling there though. Maybe a dead eye would be better for him, you know. Not a dead eye. I don't think passing's that that key as cam. But he's, 
this short bus in his vision's got enough for me anyway. So maybe we do need a, a bit of a shooting boost on him. That one says exceptional for him as well. And he's not your rated. Um, let's go ahead then and compare them. So Fabinho with a engine on him. Compare with uh, Foden with an engine on him as well. Compared with Mane with a hunter on him. So let's go through the stats. So uh, all in all, Mane has the better pace at 99 pace. That is incredible. Shooting wise, Mane is again much better. Better positioning, better finishing. Two less shot power across the board compared to Foden. A lot less long shots. Better volleys, not as good pen, and Fabinho takes the pen. Wow, passing wise, Fabinho is superior by a long stretch. Two crossing, ten crossing, nine free kick accuracy. 11 victory accuracy. Short passing is superior by 2, but then or 11 to Mane. Long passing again is 2 better. So all in all, what I'm finding here is that Foden might actually be, be the better one to go for, because he's so close to both Mane and Fabinho in certain aspects that I'm liking. Like even when he's behind Foden in terms of the passing stats, he's not far behind. And when he's behind Mane with the shooting and pace, he's not actually that far behind, is he? Uh, going on to dribbling, we have best agility is actually Fabinho in this instant, but he's tied with Mane. But then it's only by one, and then Foden has the best balance, or Fabinho with the best balance. And then Fabinho just takes the biscuit with the rest. Jesus Christ. I actually might go Fabinho here. Defending wise, it's obviously going to be better. We don't really need to look at that. And physicals, better stand by three, better strength by a lot, better aggression by a lot. And jumping is only missing up by two. I think I might go Fabinho and his four star, four star. Let's go with. Yeah, four star, four star. Without the one, Mane is also four star, four star. He's cheaper than Mane. He is more expensive than Foden, and I can't necessarily buy him now. But my god, this team is really coming together. Look at the state of the bench as well. Um, do you know what? We have won as many games as I possibly
possibly could, which was a seven. I think it took me about 18 games because my brain just wasn't working. You know what? It's later in the night now. It's like half past ten because I've sat and streamed Rocket League and things like that. I forgot to do the Prime Gaming Pack, so we've gone ahead and done that, and it's ready to be opened. Obviously, we will have rewards tomorrow. I've gone through, and I keep just... I think it's more profitable just buying the players for min and then relisting them for like 800 coins because eventually they sell. And I've gone up loads. Um, we have objectives to claim. We have a Premier League pack to open. Let's go ahead and do the Premier League Prime players pack as well. Um, what else have I got to do? I can't remember. Is that it? Oh, is there any SPCs out today? That's what I wanted to see. But no. Dallas, uh, oh, Etibo. I don't even know who this is. High high. Good base. Man shooting, but he's got decent shot power. Great passing, actually. Good vision. Short passing, long passing. Really nice dribbling. Really nice defending and physicals. What is this? High high. It's like uh, Kante, 82, 83, and 84 the team of the week. That's got to be coming in relatively cheap. Surely. It's SPC price. 86k. I'm not saying he's cheaper than Kante. But he is cheaper than Kante. I sort of want to do it, but I don't know whether I can be bothered. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anything else? Another winter wildcard challenge. So we'll get this done. And then when the, uh, the players up to come back for them... We'll definitely be going for some great rewards. Has to be 80 rated, Jesus Christ. Five rares. Okay, then we will definitely go by Monte Calcio. And if not, we'll go Torino, please. Iso. We already have both of those. Oh my god, any. Got it. Nasty dump. I forgot we had to buy. What we like to see. Bang, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Um, Miklescu. And that's literally it, isn't it? No other special players. I mean, it's only one day. We've got Etebo and the other guy. So, what do we get in return? We get a rare election players back. Why do we get a rare election players back again? I don't know. Oh, we also get a Messi on 12 games loan. Nice. Um, we will start with the Premier League because we're not guaranteed anything from that. But it could be good. Imagine if we get a Pogba now. We don't, but we get a board. It's going to be Jorginho. Get to fuck you. Spanner. Oh, uh, wait. My Walker is also untradeable, isn't it? Oh, we've got... Oh, right. Walker, Jorginho, Digne. I'm going to have to remember that because we might as well go and do uh, some form of Eddie boat and actually put them players in because I'm not wasting two 85s and an 84. Here we go. Oh, it's Edward Mendy. Yeah, boy. Oh, and we get Eddie boat. <laughs> what are the odds? Jesus. Um... Let's go. Right, and then last but not least, it says we get two 82 plus player picks as well in this. 22 rares. I didn't realise it was that big of a pack. Oh, we got an inform. Who says? Ace of the inform. Oh, yeah, boy. That was class. Oh, what a pack. What a pack. We get a gold pack. What a pack. Wait, are they tradable? Oh, they're untradable. He's like 60k. Mate. I'm happy with that. Get rid of those. And then we'll go for the one of 482 plus. We'll take another Haaland because we can just use another Haaland. That's players that we're going to have to submit and get back. And an 84 Rakitic. Broski's what is happening? So, Harland, Jorginho, Walker. Uh, I've got a last pack to open. Bro, 
Rose, that was so profitable. That was unbelievable. Do we do the Antipo? I feel like it's going to be more. You know what? No. Because, and hear me out here. I'm going to go ahead and probably do that Zaha. I've been telling myself I want to do it for days. If you look at the squad, when I'm actually playing 4 3 3 4, I sub off at the minute Antonio for Vecchia, Benzema for Dalglish, and then at the minute I've been swapping out either Barella or Kante for Trent as a CDM. Now it's not particularly worthwhile. The only reason I do it is because I don't particularly want to play anyone else at wing. Because they're not good enough or fast enough. And they don't really suit a winger's role. So if I go and do Zaha, he can be my wing substitute for either Cole or Pulisic. So let's go and have a look. I mean, I know he is expensive. Let me go back to SBCs. How much is he coming in at? Only 43 hours remaining. He's coming in at 150k. Favourites is oh there he is not. Let's go and get him done. Let's go like this actually. So Holland is definitely going in here. No. That does work. I think that was the rating. So we're going to submit that, yeah, Road to Glory, sorry, Walker. And then what we're going to do, oh, I've opened the pack accidentally, oh well, let's go, let's open the pack, see if we get anything good. Oh, we do, it's a board. Oh, Usman Dembele, we've already got, but it's tradable, right? Yeah, boy. And we will go ahead and finish as all. And then by that point, hopefully, we'll have done Fabinho. Uh, we can afford Fabinho, should I say, sorry. Because I really want Fabinho as my centre mid uh, camp. With a probably hold, uh, no, with the, uh, what did we say? We said an engine, didn't we? An engine, I meant engine, 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 engine. Or do we just full send for Pogba? No, of course we don't. There we go, thank you. It's not what I wanted to do, but okay. have some items to deal with, do we? Oh, look at that. Store them back in the club. And I don't particularly want to use them again, but we might have to use some of them. Jorginho I'm not too fussed with. Uh, Wilf Zahar. Needs to be 85 rated and at least one Premier League player. 83 instead of an 84. No. So we're actually bang on the rating now. And I'm happy to get rid of every single one of those. For a prime electron player pack that is tradable and what is an incredible Wilfred Zaha. So as he comes out the pack, I'm going to go like this. So we've got a thumbnail for today's episode. And what a card this is. Just look at the state of it. 93 pace, 91 dribbling, 85 shooting. He is undoubtedly magnificent. Uh, take a look at his stats. 5 star, 4 star, high medium. Just incredible. I'm tempted to whack a hunter on him or something of the sort. Um, let's just store him in the club for now. We have well over 360k. Things are certainly selling. What else has been selling? Well, all of those for 800 coins. See? I'm buying them for 600, selling for 800. I know it's not major profit, but you can literally max bin. Uh, no, min bin them. Oh, I counted 80 plus and 6 gold rares in it. It's not too bad. Oh, here we go, boys. Oh, it's Tony Cruz, and it's tradable. Yeah, boy. What a pack. Today's episode's been incredible. RG on for a new 25k-ish. You know what? I'm going to take the 25k. Ish. And, um, take it while I can. Because... That 25k will help go towards... It might have already sold. No, it's a book. Look at this. So, my trading tip at the minute is... You go for a player like a book. You go max bin. 650. Because that's what this 
or 600 for books, sorry. And you go, bang. Not that we can bid for any. I guarantee I'll be able to snipe some. In fact, I'll be able to snipe some for about 360. At one point they were down at 335. <laughs> Which coin still is one now? Jesus. And I was like, I didn't have enough. I think I had like 320 and I was like, oh, I need 15k. Then I went back and they were up to 350 and I was like, wow, okay. And now they jumped back up again. I think it's because we're heading towards the end of this promo. So player prices are starting to elevate again. Because they're going to go out back soon. And Fabinho's got an incredible card. But also, Antonio is shy, by the way. I've been trying to use him and I just don't get on with him. Which might have been desperate need of an actual cam that can play. Needs to be Premier League, needs to be a cam. And he's just not, he's just not doing it. Hang on, I didn't want to show you that, I want to show you this. 59 games played, 12 and 12, it's just not good. Not when he should be getting involved more. That's them two sold. For Max as well, look at that. These are 800, 850. How many of these? Seven. I don't even have bid on one, so I'm going to assign them all. Okay, less for 900, because that one's for 800 and 850 is selling. I think they're a little bit more expensive now, it's the night time. Okay, why not? for making 500 coin profit on them. Hey, even better, 300 to 500 coin profit. And that's in the space of what? 10 minute bits. So, I'm going to jump off. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. We're going to trade a little bit up until we get the point where we can get Fabinho. Yeah, we have a new season in FIFA. Which means we get more FIFA 22 as an EA play member, get more each season on our level there. It was faster than the 550. Whatever. We have more things that I've sold. Thank you very much. Goodbye to Della Cruz. Let's relist everything else. Cruz should sell at some point, please. We have done four objectives. <laughs> and that is the starter objectives. Oh, I'm a fan of that. The ancient tags. noise anyway we also have a premium gold pack we have a 500 coin boost beautiful and we also have a 75 rated rare player lovely right let's have a look what else we got anything new what other season yeah let's go and have a look at the oh, ball of mythology that is slick I like it, I quite like that actually. And the ancient tax TIFO. Although that looks slick as well. But with that behind it, I like that. And um, we have the badge, the alchemist, separate and royal foosball. Some cool packs. So we have a right back from the, that's the uh, Portuguese league. Incredible pace, okay passing, good dribbling actually. Okay, defending and nice physicals. We have Willock. That Joe Willock. Chris Willock. Is that Joe Willock's brother? Could be. Um, as a left mid. So nice pace. In between shooting, he actually has really good position and finishing. Just not a good shot, but I mean, it's not bad. Uh, passing's eh. His dribbling's eh. He's really got agility, but low balance. Really nice ball control and dribbling, actually, but low composure and reactions. And then really nice physicals, and he's four star, three star, but medium, medium is not brilliant as well. But he is in the championship. And then we have you from what league? MLS. An 80 pace centre back, Brazilian. With good pace, okay passing. Really low composure, but good reaction to Gillian Balance. And then really nice defending and physicals. That's not bad. None of them are outstanding though. And although we never actually hit the top end, we have a nice Fabricio 
mean, he's alright. He's full star, three star, medium, medium. That's just not good. His pace is good. His shooting's good. But his dribbling's got 92 agility by 80 balance. We have Pozuelo from the MLS. Good pace. Good shooting. Good passing. Good dribbling. Okay, physicals. And he's full star, five star. That's really nice, actually. And then Brown from the championship. As a centre... Holy shit. That's actually really nice. His passing's good with 85 short, but it, I, in fact, his passing needs to be boosted. But he's got... Oh, I'd whack... Personally, I'd whack a powerhouse on him, get the passing boosts completely done and sorted. Up his defending, and that is an incredible, incredible card. Three-star, four-star, high high. It's very nice indeed. Um, from that on, do we have any other... Oh, we do. We have an all Cellini. Four star, four star, high medium, left footed. Good pace. Good shooting, but his finishing's a little low. Passing's great, and his dribbling's good, and his physicals are good, and his four star, four star. I'm going 84 and 85. 82 and 84. I feel like we should do that just because it isn't like an 86 rated. Oh, it's only an 85 rated. I feel like that. Oh. Let's go like this. And I still haven't. Uh, here we go. There we go. No, I spelled his name wrong. Or oh, so leany. Oh, I need to grab my black. Let's do it. It's only 30k. That's insane value, to be fair. Um, that's really good. Passing's good in the right areas, to be fair. As a cam, that's outrageously good. If we go into Serie A, in fact, if we just go into players, if we go cam with four-star skill, come on, how the flipping hell do you do this? Four-star skills. Oh, my God. Four star weak foot. Um, with eighty five pace, eighty seven shooting, eighty six dribbling. I don't care about defending. Eighty eight passing. And 75 physical. <laughs> You're left with four cards. Three of them being the best icons in this game. And one of them being a 30k SBC. The mind absolutely boggles. And it's been downvoted 431 times. Why? Nobody cares. Ocelini, I can buy Dybala and he is better. Merry Christmas, I'll fuck him here. Make sure he spend time with me in front. Okay. Overrated what? There's a what? I didn't know that in marquee matchups. I'm gonna have to take a look at that as well. I don't know why my back's in so much pain. It looks like a homeless Harry Potter. I mean, he's not wrong. Why are so many people downvoting this? I'm gonna sc I'm gonna screenshot this. There we go, so that's the first one done, small prime election players back. We get back, and then Italy, just 82 rated and one Italy player. Uh, we shall go Italy. Move on. Nicely done. We get the 
rewards for these soon. We have marquee matchups plus. We're doing this one now, are we? Okay, cool. 70, 70. Two rares, minimum two from the same country, minimum four different countries. 1A Pro League. So I don't, I don't really care about rating. There we go. Claim that. I need to go for my dinner soon because we're going to the pop quiz. It's Thursday night. season. Oh, it's the end of the season, so we also get another 100k pack, jumbo premium gold players pack, and a prime gold players pack. I'm now in Division 3 again. Cheers, lad. So we're back in the land of 50k packs, aren't we? Fuming. But is that, what, 200 100k back, sorry. That's some nice rewards there. Jeez. Right, so premium gold back. We'll just do them in order because I don't know what the order is and I can't be asked to go through it all and do it all in the specifics. So, and there are some, st there's still some nice plays in the pack. A premium gold back. We'll stole most of it in the club to be fair. Again, absolute shambles. Nothing in it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's guaranteed in 82, that's guaranteed in 83. We'll open ones that are guaranteed sort of like 81 or 82 pluses first. Oh, hey, walk out. Andanovic. Andanovic. Is that tradable Andanovic as well? It is. How much is it worth? Oh, it's worth 10k. Oh dear. There we go, nicely done. Store in the club. Colour off can sell for a little bit, so goodbye. That's a nice 10k. That's not guaranteed. Who do we get? Who do we get? Oh my god, oh my god. That was an Ericsson, and Ericsson's not bad. Saw everything in the club. Um. 
they're all guaranteed. That's not guaranteed. Oh, here we go. Just a board. It's Fella. It's Fella. Oh, Faya. Sorry, Faya. Oh, can't walk a beat. There's no way. There we go. Thank you. I mean, no, thank you. Argentinians are probably sell for like 900 coins minimum. Uh, keep going. Oh, 75 plus rate. Get out of here. Get out of here, mate. This is where it's an 84. Yeah, it's an 80. It's 88 your rate. Told you. Mate, my brain is on point today. Look, we're going to get an 82 rated. This is six rare silvers. Oh dear. I don't know what my brother's listening to out there, but it's loud. I'm so sorry if you guys are getting distracted now. There we go. So we have a... I'm assuming not worth much. Uses got a full and player. In fact, I'm going to keep hold of him. Oh, we've already got him. There we go. Thank you. Now we're guaranteed at least 82 pluses, right? Then we're going to open a Prangle Players back. Come on, please be big. There we go. It's a board. It's Fekia. Yay. It could be worse, couldn't it? Next we have a small record player back. Come on. Oh, and just a board again. Jordan Endo is at 85. It's 84 and an 83. Two 83s. Again, could have been a lot worse, so I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. Do this one 82 plus, and this is tradable. Oh no, oh Nelly, not a great one, just an 82. Dumfries, luckily, we got rid of those. There we go, thank you very much. Uh, right, do you want a premium gold back? Come on. Oh, it's carve out 84. Oh, 85. I've been one rating off every time I've known the player as well. That's more annoying. I will go through and check some of these. I'm not too sure. Right, you can go for a bit, sure. There you go, let's have some of these. I should keep Baconio because he's moving, isn't he? Right, and then the big dons, two 100k packs. Can we pack something big, please? Oh, it's Ebra. Oh, no. So many dupes as well. How many dupes are having just a quick sell? Oh no, camera fingers one. See, this is why they're not worth a hundred k pack. You just don't pack anything good, do you? Oh, it's Marquinhos. Oh, I'll take I'll take Marquinhos. You know, because we went and bought him, so I can just sell him back. In fact, I'm going to take all, I'm going to take everyone out of this. Incredible. Look how many dukes we've got. Swap the one that we've already got because I can sell him on for. I'm assuming he's more than. Oh, I know he's not more than 29 now. I sent him for like 26 and a half. Um, there we go. Here's the slow browser, but that's going to be it. Um, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. 
you will see sort of a lot of Friday's content uh, on Monday. Or the rest of the day's content. Um, it's coming out Monday. I'm going to be hopefully um, recording a little bit of the Foot Champs gameplay for you. If we get if we get through this weekend. And you know what? To end this episode off, to end it off in style, let's go ahead and Bye. Uh, we've still got a lot to sell as well, you know. Jeez, probably got another about 50k up there. Let's go and buy Fabinho. How's he going up in price? What? 399. I don't have 399, I'm fuming. What? How's he shooting up again? That's dumb. I could have bought him for 350 at one point. Is the market seriously rebounding that well? Okay, we'll buy him tomorrow then. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.